Hello everyone, this is Suraj here. Today we will see how to install and run Apache Web Server in an EC2 instance. Okay, so for that, first of all, we have to go to one browser and we have to log into our AWS account. Okay, I already have logged into my AWS account and this is my EC2 dashboard. Okay, so I will launch one EC2 instance, launch instance, we will uh, choose this Amazon Linux to AMI and we'll choose t2.micro as an instance type yes t2.micro we'll we'll leave this page as it is and we'll add storage here you can see 8 gb ebs volume is already attached to this and we'll name this as web server web server we'll configure the security group we'll create one for you okay let me name this is my sg this is a new security group okay only port 22 is opened for this ec2 instance and anyone from the internet can access the ec2 instance at port 22 okay this is the inbound rule of this uh, security group okay if you will launch we we'll launch this now this time i will proceed without a key pair that means to log into that instance no key pair is needed okay launch instances view instances yes it is in pending state okay i will get back to you when it will be in running state okay let's wait yes now you can see the created ec2 instance is now up and running okay so we will connect to this instance using the connect button here we'll connect and one new tab will be opened yes you can see it is now opening yes it is opened now okay and this is our web server not web server this is our ec2 instance and we will install apache web server in this ec2 instance okay so first i will switch to root user so sudo su okay and we will check whether httpd service is already installed or not okay so for that i will check the status of httpd service httpd status let's check yes nothing is there redirect redirecting to this bin system CTL status this and this couldn't be find that means httpd is not there in this ec2 instance okay so i will install httpd in this ec2 instance so for the, what is the command that is yum install httpd hyphen y will press enter it's now installing yes it's now completed okay now i will put the same command to check whether the httpd is installed or not and i will check the status okay yes you can see it is now installed but it is in inactivated state okay so first i have to start the httpd service okay so service httpd start okay it is getting redirected to this httpd dot service and i will check the status again yes you can see it's now running okay so now i will go to the public ip of that ec2 instance that means i will copy that public ip and will paste that in the browser okay let's check whether it is getting loaded or not it's not opening actually what is the issue okay let's check the security group which security group we have created that is my sg okay so security group uh, yes my sg this is our security group we'll check this yes you can see this page is not getting opened okay error connection timeout means there is something something is there something is wrong with the security group okay so we'll go to inbound rule we'll check yes you can see only ssh that means only port 22 is opened 
but we are using HTTP that means we have to open port 82 not that is port 80 not 82 HTTP uses port 80 okay and the source will be from anywhere okay I will change this and we will save rule now if I refresh, refresh this page you can see yes you can see here this is the default welcome page for HTTPD service and now if you see here you may now add content to the directory this that is slash bar slash www slash html slash and something if any file is there then that this page will be redirected to this that page okay if not every time it will be redirected to this welcome.conf file okay so let's check what is there in, inside this we we'll clear this page we will cd cd this ok it's not getting copied properly it is cd etc then httpd then conf.d right ls hyphen l then cat welcome dot conf is yes, here you can see this is the file which is getting opened here okay this the definition of this file is this the selected lines okay now if we want to add some content as per our con as per our requirement okay so we have then we have to put that content or put that file in this location that is slash bar slash www slash html okay so let's create one uh, file in the location okay so i will go to that location that is bar is www okay now i will clear this page now ls hyphen l okay nothing is there we will create one that is index.html okay and we will vi into this i already have created one html definition okay we will put that yes here you can see it is copied now okay now let's check index.html file yes here you can see it is here now i will refresh this page yes hello welcome to aws which is our content you can see here hello welcome to aws it is now getting opened here okay that's it for now today and we'll see you in the next video and if you have any queries regarding this so let me know in the comment section i will be happy to uh, reply on that if you really like this video kindly like share comment and subscribe bye bye